Aww, animals. The hunt is on. A years-long study has revealed how predators hunt in the African wild and what tactics their prey use to outmaneuver them. Researchers in Botswana fitted cheetahs, impalas, lions and zebras with custom radio collars to record each animal's location, speed, acceleration and deceleration and how quickly they can turn. Muscle biopsies taken from each animal revealed that predators were faster and more powerful than their prey but less able to maneuver at lower speeds. Computer models suggest that running at full speed is not in the prey's best interest since the predator can accelerate more quickly and take them down. Instead, prey should run at moderate speeds and turn sharply at the last minute in order to avoid capture. Lions and cheetahs were found to be successful in about a third of their hunts, generally when they're traveling just slightly faster than their prey. This is because the cats and their victims are co-evolving in order to maintain balance between each group's numbers in the wild. Keep watching for more how-tos. Need a job? How about becoming a full-time ninja? If your childhood dream was to become the stealth fighter of feudal Japan, your dreams could now come true. No espionage missions or deadly combat will be required. Instead, candidates simply need pretty good PR skills. Japan's Aichi Prefecture is hiring six full-time ninjas in an effort to promote tourism in the region. Applicants need to be at least 18 years old, be physically fit, and demonstrate aerobic skills. Japanese skills are not required, although a knowledge of Japanese and English is preferred. Applicants need to have a Japanese working visa and a residence card. Candidates should also enjoy the spotlight as they'll be expected to perform in front of tourists at local historical sites. Not to mention they'll be expected to make media appearances and take photos, like these with exuberant fans. Aspiring ninjas need to send in their resume by today, March 22nd, and a select number will be asked later to demonstrate their skills. Once the final candidates are chosen, they'll then undergo a one-month training course. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has pledged to increase tourism in the lead-up to the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games and capitalizing on Japan's ninja history seems to be one way to go about it. What to do if you get caught in a riptide? If you've ever gone swimming in the ocean, you've probably seen warnings about rip currents. Unfortunately, 100 Americans on average are killed by rip currents each year. So what are rip currents? And what should you do if you encounter one in the water? Watch the rest of this video to find out. Rip currents are powerful, narrow channel currents of water. They usually occur near underwater sandbars that flow away from the shore. Rip currents form when waves break near the shoreline. As water returns to the sea, a funnel or rip current forms, pulling the water back out to the ocean. Rip currents are strongest near the surface of water. They can be as narrow as 10 or 20 feet in width, although they may be up to 10 times wider. Swimmers who get caught in a riptide should swim across the current in a direction following the shoreline. When out of the riptide, they should swim away from the current and towards the shore. Knowing how to navigate out of a rip current can save your life. Scientific study discovers the best way to load a dishwasher. Debates over the best way to load a dishwasher should be over after engineers at Birmingham University researched the subject and offered their data. Experts working at Birmingham University's Department of Chemical Engineering earlier this year said the best way to pack a dishwasher is in a circular pattern with cutlery in the center. Dishes used for protein-heavy foods should sit at the edges and be placed lower in the machine to allow enough time for chemical detergents to effectively work. Dishes used for carbohydrate-based foods should be packed in the center of trays or on top shelves to be closer to water jet sprays that dislodge these food remnants. Water in a dishwasher travels at a higher velocity towards the center of the machine and at a lower velocity along the edges. Slower moving detergent filled water breaks down proteins while faster moving water helps break up and clean away carbohydrate type foods. When a dishwasher is overloaded, there is not enough room between items to ensure dish surfaces come in contact with water and are cleaned properly. 